football is a, a, an obsession. It's a fanatical thing, fans. So your your heart is is really hurt when you can't see your own club play, whatever club it is. Okay. So that's how it affects the fans. As far as it affects uh, Abramovich, well, he's he's um, he's going to do the right thing. I'm sure. Anyway, he's going to sell and that'd be the right thing for him to do. Got it. It's not fair. The, the only people that's penalising is the fans and Chelsea and the players and them at the end of the day. They're the ones that are being punished, so we're gutted. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, just gutted. And it's all it is. What's your reaction on who, who hits harder? Abramovich or the fans? No, nah, fans, fans all day. Definitely the fans, yeah. yeah. Um, gutted, devastated as a, as a lifelong Chelsea fan. Um, hits ha hardest at the fans to be honest and um, you can't tie everyone with the same brush devastating what's happening over there um, for your respect things need to happen but I think this is a bit impulsive and maybe a better way to go about it uh, gutted by it mate to be fair um, I think it's a little bit uh, I think it's a little bit out of order against us fans if you want to see me mate I've, uh, we, you know, I understand what's going on in Ukraine at the moment it's, it's terrible what's happening but for for the fans and for Chelsea Football Club to suffer from it, I think it's not right. My personal opinion, mate. Uh, I think I think all of the all of the stuff that Abramovich has done for us, and now it just happens like this. Like we had a Chelsea owner or whatever coming in for us, who's going to make a bid for us. They've, as soon as they know that, the government has sanctioned him. So yeah, it is what it is. I've had a membership for oh, since I was six. So yeah, for quite a while. And um, what was your first reaction when you? realise that maybe if you weren't a season ticket holder for example that you wouldn't be able to go to games. Yeah. It's hard enough to get tickets as it is, let yeah. alone now. Yeah, I think it affects us a lot mate because well, where do we go from here? What's going to happen? Is, is What's going to happen to Chelsea? You know what I mean? So it's all it's something we'll see unfold in the next few days I, I assume. I think it affects both of us really. Like Abramovich, he's always loved Chelsea, he's won so many trophies with us. Like. He's obviously don't want to give out already the club, but the thing that's happening with Putin in Russia and Ukraine, you can't do anything about it, can you? So, yeah. How would you go about it differently? Um, probably think 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 things through a little bit better. Um, the main impact is for, is for the fans, as, a, as opposed to um, Abramovich, in my opinion. A match day goes ahead, probably earns very little income in the grand scheme of things. Let us let us do what we want to do, and let other things be kept aside from that. So you mentioned in the, your first answer how it was um, it hit the fans the hardest, but do you really feel it hits Abramovich harder or the fans? No, the fans. So for myself, uh, first game back since COVID, obviously it's difficult to get tickets. Everyone's been in the same boat, um, so I was buzzing to be back. Um, like a big part of my life watching Chelsea. Um, I need to find out that obviously I'm probably unlikely to get to another game this season. So for me, it, it hits us a lot harder than it will hit him. We won't be able to go now because yeah. we're not season ticket holders, so game over for us. Yeah. It's our last game. <laughs>